Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get clear ocean views in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I recently did a property video shoot in Santa Monica and after driving all the way there, agent texted me and was about to cancel the shoot because she was concerned about the views being a little bit too hazy. Well, to that, I said nay. And I don't say nay very often. So after going on site and taking a look, I told her that I did feel confident that we could get the shots that we needed um, for nice clear views. And if I'm being honest, I did not want to reschedule that shoot. So I just made it work. So let's dive into it. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere and I have three clips loaded up. We're gonna start with this drone clip right here. Um, I've already got a basic color grade on it. Let me expand this just a little bit. And what I like to do when I'm in my color tab um, is I like to see the lumetriscope and the effects controls at the same time. So what I like to do is click and drag this lumetriscope over here. So you can see your effects and your exposure value over here. Um, all right, so like I said, we've got a basic color grade already in place. It looks like this before and after, just gave it some color and some contrast, but obviously you can't see the ocean view very well. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to create an adjustment layer to work on. You do that by clicking that adding adjustment layer and it's going to default to whatever your project settings are. So just go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to click and drag that adjustment layer over here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to make the adjustment layer the same length as our clip. So now what we want to do is click on the adjustment layer. Make sure you're not clicked on the, the original clip. Click on the adjustment layer and we're going to start making some color or exposure adjustments to this. So I'm going to go to, over to color wheels and match. I'm going to bump up my midtones, bump up my highlights, and I think that's probably about good. These values are really to taste. It's, it's not anything where there's a set number to use. It's just whatever you feel looks good, and we can always change this later. The problem with this right now is that it's bumping up the exposure for everything, and we just want to bump up the exposure for the sky so that we can create some separation from the ocean. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a mask. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see a little bit of the outside area and click on this pen tool and I'm just gonna click and start drawing a mask around this entire area. And now we've got a mask and the adjustments that we made are only affecting whatever's inside this mask. And I don't know if this line is straight or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit this to the screen and then I'm going to drag down a grid line so that I can see if it's actually straight. If you don't see this, you need a, you need your rulers here to be able to see that. So if you don't see those rulers, it's right here. You just click on that to, to bring up your rulers and then you can click and drag a grid line down from right there. It does look like it's a little bit off here. So we're gonna zoom out again and we're going to click and drag this up just a little bit. And that looks good to me. Oops, don't do that. So I'm gonna get rid of this. You can also do view, clear guides. I think that looks pretty good. So if we play that back, that's kind of what it looks like. It totally looks crooked to me though. So let's see if we can fix that. It's pretty close. So I'm gonna clear the guide. And the only thing that I might wanna change on this, again, you wanna click on your adjustment layer is your ma the mask is feathering a little bit. So I'm gonna reduce that to maybe four and it creates a little bit more of a hard edge. I think that looks a little more realistic. If you wanted to change the value of this and let's say you think that the sky is, now it's too bright. And what we can do is we just still have to manipulate everything in the adjustment layer. We can bring it down a little bit to make it look blend, blend in a little bit more. Or you can leave it where it was and you can just drop the opacity over here. So it's kind of the same thing. So whatever, this is just to your taste at this point. 
So there we go for the first clip. I think we're good to go. Let's try the second clip. This one's gonna be a little more challenging because now our horizon line is actually moving up and down. So this is gonna be something we're gonna to have to address. Again, let's do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy this adjustment layer over. So I'm gonna hit option and click and drag this over. And it has all of our um, adjustments that we made. So that looks good to me. But the problem with this, again, is that when it starts moving, uh, it doesn't move along with it. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't look right. So what I'm gonna do to address this issue is I'm going to use my down arrow to go to the end of the clip. And then I'm gonna use my left arrow to go over one. That's the last frame in that clip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the mask and I'm gonna move it to where I think it should be. And I'm gonna say right there looks right to me. And then I wanna, what I wanna do is keyframe this so that it moves along with the video. And the way to do that is we're gonna keyframe the path, the mask path. So you do that by clicking on this little stopwatch and that automatically creates a keyframe, which you can see right over there. It's right in the corner. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go over to where the sky is not in the shot anymore. Maybe right there. And then we're going to click and drag this up to where we want it to. It's just out of frame. And what that's going to do, it's going to automatically create another keyframe over here. So let's try it. Let's try it right there. So if we start our clip over again and watch it back. And I think that looks good. I feel like my horizon line is just a touch off, but you get the idea. So now let's go over to our third and final clip. And this one is gonna present a little bit of a different challenge in that this is an interior shot and we have other areas that are gonna pose problems for masking. We can't just do draw a straight line and mask here because we have more than the sky in this area. So let's see how we can address that. So for this one, I'm gonna start over. So I'm gonna click and drag a new adjustment layer onto this clip. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing where we raise the values. And let's see what happens if we were just to try to add a mask to this. I think you can probably get an idea of the problem that's gonna happen right here. So, we do have our nice ocean line right there, but we also have this problem right here. And it's also a problem in these trees and everything else. Um, this is just not something that will work. So, let's uh, back it up. Let's go ahead and hit delete on that mask. We'll actually delete this entire color adjustment that we did. And instead, we're gonna head over to HSL Secondary, and this is gonna allow us to select specific colors. So what we'll do is we'll click this plus eyedropper and click it in the area that we want. We want the sky. And right over here, we're gonna click on this tab to see what our selection is. And actually that looks pretty on point, but if you wanted to make, refine that adjustment, you could. Actually, that, that's, that's pretty good because now I'm including this side of the window frame. Um, there's a little bit of an issue in that we have some of these things that it's including as well, but our mask that is going to go straight across here is going to cut all that out. So I'm not worried about that. Um, we can blur our selection a little bit so that it's not so obvious. And once we have our selection done, we're going to click off of this and then we can make our adjustment here to up our midtones and up our highlights so it can have a nice bright sky. And now we're gonna go back and do the exact same thing in making our mask. And so what that's done is it's made a mask on this HSL secondary, which is only affecting those specific colors. Make 
make sure it's straight. And then I also want to feather that mask so it's not quite so feather. I'm going to change that value to four. And then we'll see what it looks like when we play it back. Let's get rid of that uh, guide. Sometimes when you're trying to make selections or whatever in this tab, um, things are grayed out and it's sort of irritating. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out that you actually have to be clicked on the uh, window that you want to make a change to and then you can make that change. So clear guides and let's go ahead and watch it back. So it looks good. So again, if you want to make any adjustments to this, you feel like the sky is too blue or anything else, you can drop the opacity to make it blend in a little bit more. I, I don't think that I would do that on this one. I think it looked pretty good the way it was, but yeah, I'm going to bring it back up because now you're starting to get to the point where you can't actually see the ocean line too well. So that's it guys. If you like this video or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and also be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out some of our other tutorials right here. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.